What's up everybody? Going a uh, little video here. Been out here shooting my my PSC, uh, getting ready for deer season. Just really trying some new stuff and uh, been shooting out here at 50, trying out this fixed blade um, steel force. I think it's the saber tooth or something like that. Or saber. Can't remember. It's a hundred grain head. Cut on contact as you can see. Um, it's pretty wicked. I'm shooting and dropping bombs at 50 yards with it i'm just gonna do a little uh instruction test on it just to see how it holds up um see if it bends at the tip or anything um mainly just because i haven't done any of these for a while get back here and get my bow and i'm uh, gonna shoot at 20 yards you know the usual the usual um but my buddy um tony in the air force with him stationed when i was stationed in florida he uh, sent me these with, along with some others i just haven't had time to actually test them so we're gonna test them and uh see how they do but we're gonna put you right there Let's go see how we did. <sighs> Not a real long video, but see how we did on it. It's a four blade head. And as you can see, I mean, show you right there. That's the, the hole that it makes. Nothing insane, but I mean, that's a pretty good hole for a cut on contact head. I mean, penetration is, is phenomenal on it because that's, that's what you get when you get a you know, cut on contact hit. But you know, it's got the the two main blades and then the, the little bleeder blades there. As you can see, yeah, you know, the you look at the other holes here. There's plenty of other heads out there that cut bigger holes and stuff. But let's see how this thing held up. Put you all right here. To my surprise, it actually got nicked up pretty good. Let's see if that focus there. That bleeder blade there got chipped up pretty good. I mean, you could sh sharpen these out easily. Um, but, whew, sweating. Wish this weather would cool off but you see that i mean i had some mechanicals hold up better than that in all seriousness in all honesty like the rage um the crimson talon uh bone crusher um yeah the blackout did not hold up better than that but the for the most part, I mean, your replaceable blade uh, fixed heads fill it up better than this. All of them that I've shot. Um, I mean, nothing's bent. Nothing's crazy on this. 
but I mean it, it doled it up pretty good and I was just shooting the same exact thing that I've been shooting so I mean I guess that's a testament to the way some mechanical broadheads are made nowadays considering these were cut on contact I mean they're I think for three pack of them they're 35 bucks 36 maybe even more um, depending on where you buy them um, so I mean that says a lot uh, for the way mechanicals are made now yeah I mean I get it you, they're moving parts and stuff um, I'm going to have a bow set up with fixed and I'm going to have a bow set up with um, mechanicals um, I've shot most of most of my deer I think all but three yeah three i think have all been killed with mechanicals so i mean i can't i can't bash a mechanical one the bucket but well no four four deer I killed several deer um i don't know how many i don't keep count of it but quite a few um in my 30 years of living here um been blessed to be able to take plenty of deer but um realistically um, that didn't hold up as, bad, as good as I thought it would. And I'm not saying it didn't hold up good. I mean, there's nothing bent and or anything like that. It just doled the blades really good. And the blades are pretty sharp when I um, shot it. Uh, but um, like I said, I mean, I'm you shoot whatever you're comfortable with. I mean, I'll my bows are tuned good, and I can shoot fixed mechanical. Um, whatever I'm shooting 70 pounds 27 and a half inch draw 400 grain arrow I can shoot pretty much anything in North America with my setup um, and I'd feel comfortable with doing it um, with any well with a small uh, like inch and a half two blade mechanical or any fixed blade out there um, I'm not an advocate for you have to shoot 600 grain arrows or 500 grain arrows or this and that. I'm an advocate for whatever shooting best out of your bow. If it be a, uh, uh, you're shooting 60 pounds and you're shooting a 350 grain arrow and you can hit the a quarter at 70 yards with your broadheads, um, regardless of what you're shooting, I say shoot it. If you can put it in the spot, that's where it's going to go. Um, now chances are if you're shooting a 350 grain arrow you're probably not shooting mechanical so um but um you shoot whatever you're comfortable with and this is leading up to deer season and everything else um just make sure your bow's tuned and actually get out and shoot your broadheads because every broadhead if your bow's not exactly tuned right you don't know if you're your cams are out your strings are out um your sights off your rest has moved you need to get out there i mean for us here in west virginia we got one more weekend in between um we got this coming weekend and then the following weekend is opening day so we got less than two weeks now 11 days yeah 11 days i think yeah, because today's pretty much over. But get out, shoot your broadheads, shoot your arrows. Make sure everything's tuned in. You owe it to anything that you shoot at. Um, and just go out and have fun. Kill some deer this year. Um, it don't matter if you're shooting mechanicals, if you're shooting fixed blades, if you're shooting hybrids. That's what I shot last year, shot hybrids. Things were awesome. Um, I just like to change things up. I'm going to be shooting the Severs this year, the 2.0s. Um, I know... Timothy's shooting, uh, I think, I think he's shooting, he's shooting a, a cut on contact head, I think, I think it's the Kudus, and he's also got, a uh, Sever 1.5s, uh, me and him actually trade it, because I was shooting 100 grain, my bow's just shooting 100 grain at, uh, broadhead better than 125, um, with my arrow set up that I want to hunt with, um, I know, Zach's going to be shooting uh, mechanicals. He's shooting um, Rage. And I think he got some Severs. He's going to be shooting Severs. Um, Thomas, he's going to be shooting Severs, I think. He's been talking about getting some Severs. And 
He's also going to be shooting muzzies. Uh, Trocar is what he shot last year. Donovan, I believe he's going to be shooting um, the Crimson Talons. Uh, the G2s. Um, the straight blade ones, not the... Not, not the... Uh, helicold um blades but um and i'm pretty sure that chris he's shooting rages and uh, i want to say that eric he's probably shooting the drones again that uh, he shot last year those things did pretty awesome for him last year and they're uh, lights out uh, fixed blade head um you know, replaceable blades i mean they're lights out but uh so i mean we shoot a mixture of everything you know um as a group that's what we do i mean it, we shoot what we're comfortable with shooting we most of us shoot all year long at tournaments um a lot of us do so we know our bows are tuned um i, I tuned eric's and donovan's last year um they've been shooting and their bows are on point um it, you, you I can't preach it enough. You need to get out there. Don't worry about whether it's fixed blade, mechanical, whatever. Get out there, shoot your bow, regardless of what you're shooting, and make sure it's shooting where it needs to be. If you're getting kick, I mean, I've been out here. I was shooting <clears throat> some of the veins that I got on my my arrows in inside right now. They uh they don't shoot a fixed blade head good. And they're longer veins. They just uh, the way that they're designed, they don't shoot a fixed blade head good. And you can see it as it goes down uh, range. It's like, I mean, uh, it, it's like parachuting. I mean, it's out of control. Um, and I've been tinkering with that. And I'm going to change up my um, my veins um, this week. And <clears throat> go back to uh, the 2-inch um, blazer design. Uh, I don't. I probably won't be shooting blazers because I shoot. I'm sponsored by Vein Tech now, so I'll probably get there. Um, high profile veins they're they're broadhead broadhead veins and shoot those um but that's why you know i just experiment i would have never known that had i not i would have just thought oh yeah they're a longer um vein so they should shoot great they didn't um and it's not because my bow is not tuned it's because that style of vein and that length of vein just didn't fly good with a fixed head and um I don't want to take that chance of um, something happening and I need to use a fixed head that I got to change my whole setup uh, during deer season. So that's that's where I'm at and um, that's why I like to shoot my stuff before deer season starts and not just rely on what um, I think is going to happen. Sorry, I've been saying um a lot. <clears throat> More out, worked out, uh, worked all day today and hot out here i missed that weather we had last week in the 70s and dropping down in the 50s it's supposed to get hot this week be in the 80s mid 80s to upper 80s and and hopefully it'll drop back off next week uh, for deer season i think i think it's supposed to so i do think that there's a storm coming th i think that hurricane is getting hit in the gulf is going to be coming through here pushing some rain through so hopefully that pushes some cold weather in um but now I'm just rambling, and hopefully y'all kill some deer this year. Hopefully we can update y'all with some deer. So y'all have a good one. God bless. Good luck this year. Shoot what you're comfortable with. Can't stress that enough.